All right, gang, here we go. This is for Chem 1, Unit 11, Part 3, talking about dilutions. This should be a pretty quick, easy video. All right, <clears throat> so dilutions, uh, you know, it, you probably already have a good idea of what this word means. You know, if something's diluted, that means it's less concentrated, okay? And so specifically in chemistry, we use dilutions when you're starting with a more concentrated sol solution and you need to make it less concentrated. So I gave the example uh, last video when we first talked about molarity, uh, where I talked about being able to take um, a very concentrated solution of acid and then and I would take a portion of that and add water to it to make it less concentrated. So for example, when I buy um, hydrochloric acid, we use that all the time in the chemistry lab. And um, when I buy it from the, from the chemical supply company, it comes as 18 molar. Okay, that's pretty dang concentrated, pretty dangerous. So you got to be able to end and really ac excessive for a lot of the, uh, the little mini experiments and things that we do in our chem class. And so what I do at that point is I need to, you know, make it more diluted. And so I take a portion of that of the 18 molar and then I add water to until I get to a certain volume. And then uh, based on how much water I add, I can figure out what the concentration was, so on and so forth. All right. Um, and so the math of it is actually really easy because when you're concentrating or when you're diluting something you know that the moles stay the same right because if i have um you know 10 milliliters of 18 molar and then i all i do is add water to it it still has the same number of moles of hcl um, it doesn't really matter you know how much water you have it's still the same amount of moles so the equation becomes really easy to work with the equation is simply this guy it's a m1 v1 equals m2 v2 and this is you know you work with this it's essentially the same way as we did gas laws all right the molarity in <clears throat> of set one times the volume of set one is equal to the molarity of two times the volume of two and <clears throat> so essentially like what I like to think of this as is this is my stock solution. This is what I'm starting with, okay? And then this is what I'm trying to make, all right? This is, what are you making, all right? One is where you're starting, two is what you're making. And then, so your M's are your concentrations and molarities and your volumes are V's. And your volume really can be in any unit. You just gotta make sure it's the same on both sides. So if one of them's liters, the other one needs to be in liters, milliliters, milliliters. Those are really the two common, most common ones, all right? So let's do some practice problems. All right, it says, how many milliliters of aqueous two molar magnesium sulfate must be diluted with water to prepare 100 milliliters of aqueous 0.4 molar magnesium sulfate? So this, the two molar is what we're starting one, and it's a, a concentration, so this would be our M1. And then uh, it diluted to prepare this much, so this is how much we want to make, and we know that because it says prepare right there. So this would be our V2. And then this concentration here, well, that would be our M1. Okay, and so it's, a, it's a, or sorry, not M1, M2, because that's the concentration we're trying to make. Remember, our formula is M1V1 is equal to M2V2. All right, so now we just need to solve for our V1. That's what we're after, because, and we also know that because it says how many milliliters. All right, so V1 would be equal to M2V2 over M1. Okay, and then just simply plug everything in. All right, so M2 was 0.4. All right. And V2 was 100, and remember, I can leave that as um, <clears throat> as milliliters. I just have to remember that this volume that spits out the other side would be also be in milliliters. All right, and then M1 would be the concentration of my stock solution. All right, so that'd be my two molar. So I take four times 100, which gives me uh, 40. One, two, no, 400. <laughs> No, 0.4 times 100, there we go, and my brain is, uh, so you get 40 divided by 2, so you get 20.0 uh, milliliters, all right? So this is, this volume here, that's how many milliliters of the stock solution you need to make this solution. So let's talk about the steps on how to actually make this solution, all right? Easy stuff, this is very, very similar to how you make a solution using your solid, which is what we talked about in the previous video, all right? So the first step is you're just going to measure, okay, uh, 20 Point zero milliliters. All right, and uh, the most proper way to do this is using of uh, <clears throat> sorry of stock solution. All right, of your and the, in this case your stock solution would be the two molar. The most proper way is to be using a volumetric pipette, but most times using a graduated cylinder and being careful with it could be it's probably all right too. All right, uh, step two is you're going to um, <clears throat> add this to um, the proper 
uh, volumetric flask that we need. Um, and so since we're trying to make 100 milliliters, we're going to say, well, we need a 100 milliliter uh, volumetric flask. So we're going to add our solute or our, um, add our uh, stock solution to our 100 milliliter volumetric flask. And then you're going to fill to line with uh, water Oop, and make sure it's distilled or deionized water. All right. And then finally, uh, four, you're going to mix it. And then really, we mean invert it. And you're going to invert this guy two to five times. So we'll cover the top with parafilm or a cap. All right. Invert it two to five times. OK. And then finally, you're going to label that sucker. And remember, our labels always have two parts, the concentration and the solute you started with. All right. So our concentration would be, uh, that's what we're trying to make. So it would be 0 0.400 molar. And then the solute is magnesium sulfate. And that's it. So that's how you'd make that solution. Let's do one more. It says, how could you prepare 250 milliliters of 0.2 molar sodium chloride using only a solution of one molar sodium chloride? Well, that, so this is our what we're trying to make. So this would be our V2, and this would be our uh, M2, right? And this is the concentration we're starting with. Notice that when you're trying to make a solution, you're always solving for V1. Okay, so our V1 would be equal to M1V1. Or, M2, V2, I'm really struggling with that today, over M1, all right? <clears throat> so our M2 is uh, 0.2, so we're going to multiply that by our V1, which is 250, all right, and divide that by our M1, which is 1, so 0.2 times 250 is 50. I guess I could have done that in my head, huh? All right, whatever. So 50, uh, and this was in milliliters, so our answer's got to be in milliliters, all right? 50 milliliters. All right, so step one, it says, how could you prepare? So step one would be measure 50 milliliters of stock. All right, and then you got to decide what size volumetric flask you need. And we need, are making 250 milliliters, so you uh, add this to 250 milliliter volumetric flask. All right, fill to line with distilled water. All right. Mix and then label. And we would label it as our concentration, our new concentration, which would be 0 0.20 molar, and then our solute was NaCl. And that's it. So that's it for the notes here. Next video, we'll talk about molality. Uh, it's very similar to, constant, or to molarity, but slightly different and useful in very specific cases. All right, so that's it. Do your practice problems. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you on the flip side.